Watch. Bravo fires RHOSLC star Jenny Nguyen over offensive posts. Crystal Hefner has weighed in on the explosive new TV series about her late husband, Hugh Hefner. The 35-year-old model spoke out on Twitter to address some of the allegations in the A. She seemed to reference one of former Playboy Bunny Holly Madison's claims in the documentary involving a stash of photos. On screen, Madison said she was afraid to leave the Playboy mansion, because Hugh allegedly had a mountain of revenge porn waiting to come out. She Sidiche thought about killing herself, but eventually found a new sense of purpose by starring on The Girls Next Door from 2005 to 2009. After the docuseries premiered, Crystal said that Hugh kept images of women. While not mentioning the show directly, she tweeted, I found thousands of those disposable camera photos you were talking about at Holly Madison. Crystal, who has also spoken out about feeling like the mansion was akin to a prison, said that she got rid of Hugh's stash. I immediately ripped them up and destroyed every single one of them for you and the countless other women in them, she shared. They're gone. Holly responded to her co-star with a simple thank you. Last year, Crystal reflected on her time with Playboy by posting a photo of herself at the mansion in 2016. She recalled, it was toward the end when I started saying no to things that weren't me. Hair got more natural, implants came out. No more fake tan or life. I was still sick physically and mentally, but on the road to recovery. This week, the A. Live tin the house, pressured women into getting plastic surgery and was allegedly involved in trafficking drugs. Yu's son Cooper Hefner publicly defended him in light of the recent claims. Some may not approve of the life my dad chose, but my father was not a liar, he wrote on Twitter. However unconventional, he was sincere in his approach and lived honestly. He was generous in nature and cared deeply for people. These salacious stories are a case study of regret becoming revenge. Playboy itself also issued a statement after an early teaser showed Holly saying that the mansion was cult-like and the women were all gaslit. The company responded in part, the Hefner family is no longer associated with Playboy, and today's Playboy is not Hugh Hefner's Playboy. We trust and validate these women and their stories and we strongly support those individuals who have come forward to share their experiences. Playboy additionally published an open letter calling for its team to listen as these women share their stories. Read through the allegations below. Hefner had blackmail on those who lived in the house, according to numerous people. In episode 1, bunny mother PJ Mastin alleges that Hefner had sex tapes of women as collateral. His ex-girlfriend Sandra Theodore adds, The thing is, he had tapes in everybody. Hefner's former security guard, Stefan Tettenbaum, says that it wasn't just sexual in nature. Every place had microphones and little cameras. We had to be very careful because we knew we were being monitored. In episode 10, Mickey Garcia and Theodore revealed that they were told in the case of Hefner's death his executive secretary Mary O'Connor was instructed to destroy all sex tapes. Former executive assistant Lisa Loving Barrett says that she was told they were put in a barrel and thrown out to sea. Holly Madison doesn't think she actually loved Hefner. In the past, the bunny used to say she wanted to marry and have kids with Hefner, but she now says, I think I definitely thought I was in love with Hef, but it was. Very Stockholm Syndrome. Madison adds that she used to think everyone disliked her because they were jealous but later realized Hef always pits the main girlfriend against the other girls. Theodore thought he did this intentionally, speculating, if everyone's a little unsure of themselves, he can get his. Holly alleges were pressured into getting plastic surgery. Madison says that Hefner expected all the women to look a certain way, claiming, the plastic surgery amongst the girlfriends in the mansion was compulsive. Everybody was doing it with very few exceptions. According to numerous individuals, Hefner would tell the women they weren't photogenic enough and then pay for them to go under the knife. Madison later rebelled against Hefner by cutting her hair, which angered him, according to Madison and Marquardt. In 2008, Madison left after Hefner became even meaner.
According to Marquardt, Hefner was pretty abrasive in the way he said things to Holly and would berate her for her appearances. Eventually, Madison wanted to leave but she was afraid to, because he had a mountain of revenge porn waiting to come out. She contemplated committing suicide but the girls next door. Series saved her because she felt she had a sense of purpose. Playboy bunnies were targeted by club members. Former security guard Jim Ellis and bunny mother PJ Maston claim that the women who worked at Playboy clubs were vulnerable to the club members, alleging that the women were often drugged and assaulted by men who frequented the clubs. In one 1978 incident, six Playboy bunnies were kidnapped, drugged and raped while held captive in New Jersey, according to the New York Times. Maston said at least 40 to 50 women were assaulted, but they were not allowed to report. Crimesto police or take victims to the hospital. Maston said she was a member of the cleanup crew, who made sure assaults weren't shared with the public. Bobby Arnstein and Adrian Pollock were accused of trafficking drugs for Hugh Hefner. The DIA and FBI were convinced that there was rampant drug use going on in the Playboy Mansion, so they targeted Hefner's secretary, Bobby Arnstein. When the FBI arrested Arnstein, they found cocaine in her purse and tried to make her flip on Hefner. Playmate Adrian Pollock had previously died of a drug overdose, but the authorities reopened the case after rumors surfaced that she and Arnstein were supplying drugs to the bunnies. According to the New York Times, Hefner said that the FBI was on a witch hunt and there is no truth to the rumors. Arnstein later committed suicide in January 1975, at which point the FBI's case went cold. Now, Hefner's ex Sandra Theodore claims that she was a drug mule for Hefner, saying in episode 4, Luckily, I had angels watching over me and I never got caught. Hefner's sexual desires were fleeting and he always had to find, something naughtier, according to Theodore. The ex-girlfriend claims that their sex lives became increasingly wild and she once walked in on him having sex with their dog. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, she says, adding that she never left him alone with their dog again. PJ Maston alleges that they made porn star Linda Lovelace perform oral sex on a German Shepherd, which Theodore was also present for. Shortly after that, Theodore broke up with Hefner but she remains traumatized by the things she witnessed. Women were pressured into sleeping with Hefner if they wanted to be Playmate of the Year. Madison recalls most of the women feeling pressured to sleep with Hefner if they wanted to be considered for Playmate of the Year, claiming, not every single one of them did, there were a few exceptions, but I think a lot of people felt like they had to. Hefner allegedly pimped bunnies out to VIPs who drugged them, the latter of which Mickey Garcia testified about in front of Congress. According to Playboy Dona Spear, it was commonplace for the women to be hired to entertain the high rollers during events, claiming, it was like they were pimping us out. Former playmate Christy Tom adds that it felt like they were prostitutes. In 1985, Mickey Garcia testified in front of the U.S. Commission on pornography, claiming that more than one playmate participated in an international call-girl ring, according to the Chicago Tribune. In Episode 7, Mickey claims that women were being coerced into terrible things by Hefner and other Playboy staff, who trapped the models with unfair contracts. Holly Madison, Paige Young and more claim Hugh Hefner was aware of assaults against playmates. Hefner's former bodyguard Jim Ellis said that Bill Cosby's arrest wasn't a surprise, claiming, everybody that worked at the mansion knew that he was basically a predator. Maston claims in episode 8 that she told her boss but was warned that she'd lose her job if she told Hefner. Hugh Hefner had a romantic relationship with Dr. Mark Saganor. Saganor's daughter Jennifer says in episode 9 that Hefner was in love with his personal doctor. Mark Saganor, who was arrested on charges of assault. The charges were later dropped. What I've realized over time is that their connection was much more than just best friends, Jennifer says. It's my personal belief that the love of Hef's life was my father. Sandra Theodore also claims that Hefner and Saganor were lovers. There were shadow mansions, where women were drugged and assaulted.
Jennifer Saganor claims in episode 9 that there were shadow mansions that emulated the Playboy Mansion. And though Hefner settled down with wife Kimberly Conrad, the mini mansions continued to flourish, with Saganor claiming that the men would set up fake photo shoots, where they'd promise aspiring models potential contracts. Saganor alleges that the nude photos and videos that were taken of the women were used to blackmail them into having sex with guests.